Hi, this is Anil speaking and this is a demo of my grocery list app. This app has been mainly created with the intention of helping you people to maintain a list of grocery items that you want to shop during your monthly endeavor. The launch screen has this particular option to create a grocery list. There are various other options like master list which basically shows what are all the items that you have by default in the app and the help section has got various uh, frequently asked questions which you can browse through to understand how a particular action can be performed but the most important screen in this particular app is the grocery list this is the home screen to create a sample list you have to click on the plus icon here and you can give the name of the list in this case I am giving a sample list and you can see that a sample list gets created it shows on which day it got created when it got modified and then it shows how many items are there in that particular sample list to add items to the sample list click there and it shows there are currently no items currently list is empty and then to add items click on plus icon here it will pop up a new window where you can enter the item that you want to add for example if I want to add I have to enter few letters then automatically it will populate the existing items that are there in the app in this case I will select apple and fruit is the category and I want to buy in kg how many kg you want to buy you can select here if you want to increase the value on the left hand side of the decimal point you can use the slider that is there on the left hand side and if you want to manipulate the value that is there on the right hand side of the decimal point you can use the slider that is there on the right hand side so in this case I want to assume I am going to buy say one and a half kg so you can bring it over here or two and a half kg over here and just stop as soon as if you reach around 2.5 and say add you can see that items get added here so in the same way assume that I want to uh, buy something called Pepsi Pepsi is not there in the pre-existing list that come with the app need not have to worry just add Pepsi enter the category in this case it is cold drinks quantity type is liter and I want to buy half a liter of Pepsi and say add and you can see that the items get added instead of adding individual items you want to add multiple items in one single go you can do that as well click on the icon here go to master list and select items that you want to add in this case it is tomato ketchup vinegar Pepsi uh, which has already been added so you can ignore that Bengal gram, green gram, urad dal and you can click on the icon that is visible on the extreme right top side click on that you want to add it to a new list or an existing list I can choose the existing list so in this case it is sample list which already exists and tomato ketchup you have to select the quantity type which is liter or pack if you select pack the right hand slider will get disabled and if you select any other remaining sections like liter or kg you can make use of both the left and right sliders so usually I will back I will buy in terms of pack and you can just click on the plus item icon here to move on to the next item so click here you will get vinegar 
once again i want to buy it in terms of liters uh, not one liter i want to buy it say half a liter next pepsi half a liter so it shows pepsi is already present so you can just ignore that part bengal gram you want to buy it as kg green gram once again kg urad dal once again kg and once you are done you can just go back to the list and you can see that seven items have been added and there is an option to collapse and see what are all the categories under which you have put the items and show all will just show all the items that are there in the list so this is how you can basically maintain the list of items that you want to buy during your monthly grocery shopping